Hello and welcome back to the world of tech, I'm Darren Dunn and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Nokia's N8 smartphone and seeing how it lives up in today's smartphone range and will it be able to compete with some of the other smartphones that are out and about. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now in this review we won't be going too much into the hardware and software because it's running Symbian 3 and it's Nokia. So all, as you can imagine you're going to get great hardware and the software with Symbian 3 is not great at all. However if you do want to see a full tour on both of them which is hardware and software there will be a link in the description to the written review that takes you to the website where you will find out everything you need to know about the hardware and software in two detailed separate videos. So getting on with the actual review we're going to just briefly go over the hardware. Now turning this onto the back to start off with and the first thing you're going to notice is solid grey metal with an amazing matte finish. Hardware with Nokia has never really been a problem and I can't ever see it be a problem. One hardware issue I have found, I'm just gonna... I don't know if you can hear that clicking but it starts clicking about a week and a half into our review trial of the product and it's it doesn't seem to click back in place so that's one downside that it seems to be a bit soft at the top but otherwise hardware is mastered on the Nokia N8 in fact all across Nokia's devices but what I'm going to do is talk about the screen and the front of the device now the front of the Nokia N8 you're going to get a 3.5 inch so that's iPhone 4 size which is actually pretty small compared to some phones today for example you've got most of the Android phones that are 3.4 inch but this is actually running a AMOLED display so the resolution's coming in at 640 by 360 so you're getting an amazing display it's not as good as the retina or the super AMOLED but 640 by 360 with an AMOLED display it's going to produce amazing colors and I'm going to show you that now actually so if I just unlock this device and as you can see I've got a very very colorful background on the back of Symbian 3 and it's just it's an amazing screen if you if you're watching a lot of videos viewing pictures and doing a lot of media stuff this screen is better at colors than Apple's iPhone and the retina display so that's the way it works however the retina display seems to be better on text as you will see later on so what about software now let's start talking about navigation when I first saw Symbian 3 I thought straight away hang on a minute that's Android and it looks pretty similar to Android I mean you've got very simplified widget base I mean I can just hold down touch add a widget and there you go I wanna see what's in the BBC news and I can click done and then you know it's customizable like that so Android and Nokia Symbian 3 are very similar in the way that things work I'm just gonna press menu and the first time I did it oh look it looks similar to Android and iOS that time but that's expected and now one thing that really does put Symbian 3 down is it looks like it's the iOS of 2005 it just looks out of date a bit stale similar to iOS does however I can't see Nokia if they don't do anything about it I can't see Symbian being around for much longer however one thing I'm gonna have to add is Symbian is dead but it's not buried it still can be revived and that's one thing Nokia definitely need to consider is you know don't let this operating system die it's definitely definitely got potential now one thing that really bugs me about operating systems like this is it's like a three step process to do something I have to click menu settings then I want to I have to go through all these categories of settings and that's not what I want to do the world is becoming lazy I'm becoming lazy and I just want things to be a lot simpler so that's why Symbian 3 isn't many people's operating systems of choice and like the user interface it's just stale and nobody wants a stale operating system I mean I know that you know that and it, it just annoy you especially being tied down to a two-year contract or maybe a one and a half year contract or something along them lines so let's take a look at some of the things that you're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis starting off 
with internet browsing. A smartphone needs to be good at internet browsing, otherwise it's not a very good smartphone. So just loading up the browser, and we'll go to orange.co.uk, which is actually a pretty media based website and as you can see it's loaded orange now I'm just gonna scroll down the page as quickly as I can and see if that lack of RAM support will compare to nowadays the lack of RAM is going to affect web browsing well there's no checkered boards zooming in it's pretty fluent and zooming out you are gonna get some of them checkered boards I'll just show that again if I can zoom in and zooming out you are going to get some checkered boards so again web browsing but it's not it's not like it's too slow I mean I could definitely definitely live with that as a day-to-day -day browser so web browsing is not too bad let's just have a look at some more of the options that we're going to get so I'm going to click options and we can show open applications go to web page options let's see what web page options we're going to get so you can save it as a bookmark you can reload set it as home page allow pop-ups etc so that's web browsing. Let's take a look at something else that you might use. Let's have a look at some of the applications that come built in to the phone. Now it's a smartphone, so I did expect this, but you are going to get some Office applications. For example, Quick Office is a very, very popular mobile application as far as Office work goes. I'm just going to show you some of this stuff if it lets me what Quick Office does. Mobilize your office. Welcome to Quick Office. So I'm guessing this is just going to be email and maybe word processing and stuff all on your phone although I wouldn't like to replace that with it replace my laptop with my phone it's got a video editor it's got OV music so another part of the OV store some clocks social networking let's open up this video editor if you make videos like I do then you know I can't expect this to be Final Cut Pro but we'll see what it is let's just yeah get a couple of options so you get a pretty nice user interface I mean you get your storyboard as as expected okay so yeah you are gonna get a nice range of applications plus if you're not happy you can also go to the OV store and download some more applications to take a look at calendar so you get a pretty decent and basic calendar on this I mean you know, it's it's a smartphone. It's not going to replace your computer for your office work, but it's just something that's going to be nice to have on the go. So that's that's really it. I'm not very enthusiastic about the operating system. The operating system on Nokia's N8 is just not up to standards. Symbian 3 is out of date. It's old, and like I said earlier in the video, it's the iOS of 2005. Now, if you are looking to purchase a Nokia N8, hardware-wise. I can't recommend it anymore. It is gorgeous. However, software, I would seriously wait until this Windows Phone 7 business with Nokia is actually confirmed and they have Windows Phone 7 on the devices because personally if Windows Phone 7 was on the Nokia N8, it would definitely be a great great smartphone. I mean, it's not bad now for the 350 pounds. You would be getting a decent phone, but you would have to live up with the old and stale operating system like I do with iOS. I mean without iOS 5 on my device I would have probably curled up and died by now. But you can pick what one of these Nokia N8 up from the Carphone warehouse. They're about £350 SIM free and they're available in a silver and a black version. Now for more information on the Nokia N8 please please check out the written review that will be in the description. I'd like to thank Nokia for sending this out for review and if you are looking for an N8 please do consider the operating system but you won't need to consider the hardware because Nokia have it spot on.